Hey everyone, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner and I'm back with another reaction video. Ah, these gentlemen. Simon Day is the name of the band. They are British in origin. And before that, the Caribbean. They are a funk band who came out in the early 70s. I'm playing a tune from their 19, I believe, 72 album self-titled. These guys sure are funky. And this particular tune that I'm going to play is probably one of their best known songs. Uh, if you were in a club in the late 70s, I guess, and 80s, Simon Day got played, particularly this song that I'm going to play. Uh, their backstory is really interesting. You know, they had the Caribbean roots. Uh, they were based in England. They were the first uh, British band to headline the Apollo Theater in New York. And they also performed on Soul Train. These guys had some musical chops. But they weren't popular in Britain at all. And um, they broke up, you know, after a couple albums. They uh, split up because they didn't get any uh, love from the British music industry, unfortunately. They got more love from America, actually, than they did in Britain. And they broke up in 1974. Um, their fourth album was released in 81, but it had been recorded in the 70s. Here's the thing. Um, they got rediscovered. Like, I first started hearing them in the 80s in the clubs. Um, people like Grandmaster Flash and uh, DJ Cool Herc, they started using uh, Simon Day's music as breakbeats in the early days of hip hop. And by the time, you know, the late eighties came, they were being sampled by like De La Soul, EPMD, Heavy D. And uh, they were uh, recognized by hip hop. And they ended up reuniting in 2012 and making a, a they had a big reunion and they actually did another album in uh, 2015. Uh, props to them for getting back together. This song is a banger. It's a banger. And um, as I said, if you were in the club in the like, late 70s, 80s, DJs ordinarily would drop the middle of the song. Not the whole song, but the specifically the middle of the song. And when you hear the song, you'll see why. Because it's a banger. It's an absolute banger, absolute club classic. Originally done in 1972. This is Shama Day. And this is called Bra. <laughs> Thank you. 
they come in with the cowbell that's the part that the DJs used to drop oh my god memories <laughs> oh wow that was Chaminade 1972 with a classic classic oh my goodness and it's called bra and that was some good stuff Fun fact, I guess he must have been in the club too, because uh, I think him and I are probably the same age. Spike Lee has used this song not once but twice in his films, Crooklyn and The 25th Hour. He must have been in the club too. <laughs> Way to go, Spike. You got good taste in music, honey. Whew, that was all right. This is the Positivity Corner, as always, with Patrice. Please like, click, share, subscribe for further content. And I will be back with some more reaction videos. <laughs> 